Hello everybody, this is Will Brogan from Commercial Truck Training bringing you another edition of Coach's Corner. This one is going to contain a little bit of a plug for a couple of things that we do, but I would hope that you would see the value in the lesson of the Coach's Corner more so than seeing this as an advertisement, if that makes sense. Um, of course, if you want to join these programs, you're more than happy to as long as uh, you fit within our territorial restrictions that we have for our uh, existing clients. So. Um, what this episode is going to cover is all different forms of tracking and we're not going to get into a whole lot of super detail it's going to be more of hey are you thinking about doing this here's an easy way to do so I mean that's what coaches corner is all about anyway right so let's go ahead and get started um, number one and this is kind of where the plug comes in one of the best tracking softwares that we actually have is our newsletter distribution service. Um, using Constant Contact, we are able to track just about every metric we need for, um, for the people who are our newsletter clients. So when we send a newsletter out for our clients to their readers, which would be prospects and customers, we can see who opened it, what time, um, the percentage of people that opened it, which not to boast, but ours are usually between eight and 12% above industry averages. And since we've moved over to the mobile friendly template, um, actually a lot of our uh, readership numbers have doubled for most of our uh, dealerships, which is fantastic. But beyond just open rates, you can see click rates and who clicked what, which is very important when you're trying to see what prospects might be interested in inventory. You can also see bounces, which gives you an opportunity to say, hey, we don't have your email address right on file. Can we come by and update, maybe learn a little bit more about your business in the process? You guys know how to do that by now with different appointment scripts. The only thing that you cannot see for us in constant contact is anybody who marks you as spam, which is really <laughs> the way that they want it and probably the way that they should do it. Obviously, we wouldn't berate anybody and I don't expect any of the dealers that are going to be watching this would do that, but you never know with somebody else that uses a company like Constant Contact if they get upset that somebody marks somebody at spam, so they don't disclose that. But again, let me just take all of that different stuff to illustrate just how important tracking is. And by the way, I'm not talking about tracking from a BDC or an internet leads department within your dealership because those are still retail based. Yes, they may have value, but I'm really focused on what you can track for your purposes within commercial. That's the focus of this video. A couple of other things that you can do is track yourself. Uh, we have tracking forms available on our website where you can go and list the different types of phone calls that they're for, whether it's an appointment or a follow-up, maybe you're asking for referrals, the actual number of the phone call in the process, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. Uh, notes that took place during the call, maybe you discussed a, a significant other's birthday that you may want to make a note of and you know perhaps send a wife flowers just kind of out of the blue, um, gatekeepers names, stuff like that that are in that tracking form. And the great thing about that is not only will you track it for your own purposes for follow-up and things of that nature, but you can also take it as an activity log to your bosses when they're asking why you haven't been out cold calling. So take advantage of that. Also, you can do a little bit of tracking on social media. Personally, I don't think it's all that valuable. Uh, I, I tend to tell people that social media is more of a more of a perceived value type thing. Here's what we are capable of doing. But if that's something you're interested in, by all means, if that's important to you with tracking the different uh, metrics on social media, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, or anything of that nature, feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, the reason I wanted to talk to you about the tracking today, though, we've given a lot of data ideas, is the opportunity to follow up. And I know Ken has talked about both on Coach's Corners and other videos that maybe you've seen if you've come to some of our boot camps and obviously in the boot camps, going to an event and getting a business card in a bowl for a giveaway for a bag of Jolly Ranchers or something like that isn't very valuable, is it? However, if you take the time to track different things like this, for example, who opened your newsletter, then you can follow up with specific value to that customer based on the interaction that you had even if you didn't actually speak to them. So think of it this way. Here's your perfect example and I know I already mentioned it. You have a client that maybe you met or a prospect will say that maybe you met at a trade show. 
a, a home builders association meeting and you talk and you exchange business cards okay and you lose the business card kind of an extreme example and you remembered everything but for some reason when you put your scar your card scanner in after you lost before you lost the business card the email address didn't transcribe right and you go ahead and you send that list to me and I put it into to constant contact and I send it to the newsletter distribution when it's time at the end of the month and it comes back that that person's email address bounced that gives you a specific follow-up opportunity for an appointment to say hey listen I had your business card something happened it didn't get transcribed properly and I need to go ahead and make sure that you are on the, the newsletter list that we talked about and in addition to that I would like to help promote your business and then you go into a Ken Taylor script about promoting the business of can I have a few of your business cards to be able to stack them in our service department so that people that come in and get their vehicles serviced know that your business is out there the next time they need somebody in your industry